My name's Caroline Jones. I'm a Chief Investigator in the Centre and I'm an Associate Professor in the Marx Institute at Western Sydney University. So in the Centre there are two main kinds of projects that I'm involved with, my students, my postdocs, my staff. Um, we're interested in projects that help children learn language, so projects around assessment tools for example, and we're also interested in projects that help communities, particularly Aboriginal communities, bring their language back, so what we call language revitalisation projects that involve language learning and language teaching, sometimes by adults. We're really interested in improving the range of assessment tools that researchers and clinicians have for identifying kids who have issues in either their speech development, their language development, or maybe their hearing. Uh, there's a dearth really, there's not enough tools that allow clinicians to identify kids from non-English speaking backgrounds who might need help. And that sometimes means that those kids wait longer to receive speech pathology services to get a hearing aid. Um, this is particularly true for Aboriginal kids in remote parts of Australia where there's a very high incidence of blue ear, otitis media, middle ear infections that can lead to permanent hearing loss. So one thing we've been really keen to develop is uh, an early vocabulary assessment tool that parents can use in collaboration with clinicians to help identify kids uh, who might be in need of services for hearing or speech. So early is designed for kids zero to three and we can use the tool as soon as the kid starts understanding language, so from about eight months of age. And kids, typically developing kids, are at about 100% on the tool by the time they turn three. So that means it's a really great research tool for tracking typical development. We can see you know, um, a strong pickup in the second year of life in the kid's vocabulary development. Uh, and we can see all of the culturally specific language emerging that's really part of the children's rich home life. It's also then a good clinical tool for identifying kids who are starting to develop more slowly by the time they're three. We're getting a lot of interest in early from speech pathologists, particularly in remote northern Australia, but also in urban areas in Sydney. Uh, and I have an Aboriginal honours student who's interested in exploring the uses of early with Blue Mountains uh, people in Western Sydney. We also have interest, as I said, from National Acoustic Laboratories and Australian Hearing. Um, and from the early childhood education sector as well, which is really great because those teachers are spending a lot of time with kids and really know them very well.